playing around in the shop. Got the uh, H2 back together. It's got a 6.0 LS engine in it. Now, uh, this one's a little different. That's the only reason I'm, I'm doing anything about the video and, and getting it started up and everything. Uh, the customer brought it in. It was it sounded like a lifter or something tapping. Come to find out, it had a bent push rod over revving it. It's got a Whipple supercharger on it. Now, pull the supercharger off. Pulled the heads off. Pulled, I mean, just pulled everything off. Got down in there and found out he had a push rod bent. It was so bent that we couldn't even get it out of the out of the head uh, without removing it from the engine. So, or yeah, removing the head from the engine, which we were redoing the heads anyways. Uh, so we got it all apart. Got it all put it back back together. Uh, it's just a bad situation all around. So, got the got the H2 back together. Got uh, everything bolted back up. Just got a new fuel pump in it, new fuel uh, filter. I took the tank completely down, washed it out, cleaned it out, dried it out. It's all nice and, and fresh. We're gonna put some 93 uh, octane in it. I'm not gonna have any dyno numbers. We don't have a dyno here and doing all that stuff. Just trying to get back to the customer. Now I'm trying to get back to the customer as soon as he can because well, he wants his truck back. And I get it, I kinda like it. Either way, it's not mine, gotta get it going. Uh, just give me a second going to bleed out the fuel system get all that nasty whatever might still be left in the lines flushed out from the the tank forward and uh see if we can't get it busted off and get it out of here today all right later start out the valve covers were on the wrong side because on this with the supercharger being right here you can't feel the oil so I had to take the supercharger back off I had to take the supercharger back off and move the valve covers from one side to the other An injector so I got it all back together and he says it's misfiring on cylinder four okay so we got discombobulated and we were backwards and we was looking at the other cylinder four and since we was looking at the other cylinder four we're like hell the spark plugs are working the coal is working and the fuel injector is ejecting and then Brandon goes Cylinder four is not on that side. Yes, Brandon, you're correct. Cylinder four is not on this side. So we look back over here and the coil or the, the injector plug where that harness branches off to go to the throttle body runs right to that injector. So when it was pulled up to plug into the throttle body, because it wasn't clipped on the injector all the way, so we pulled it off the injector. And uh, yeah. We well, usually number one's on that side, but because it's supercharged. Because it's they, supercharged, they, the cylinders they, are on different right, sides. They had to move the number one to this side. They, because that's where the valve cover was going to go. Right. They, they, I, I, I'll take that. You know, because it had that whistle on it, that whistle of supercharger. It's, it's a Whipple supercharger, and we know this. The customer keeps calling it a whistler. I'm recording right now. And if I say something stupid like whistler supercharger, and that makes the cut. Everybody's gonna be like, "It's gonna make the cut, but you don't use it as a uh, <laughs> The whistler. <laughs>